Hello to all my friends out there. So this is an asparagus and Swiss cheese frittata. Let's hope I can get it out of the pan in one piece. I will try. Um, it's been out of the oven for a minute or two, and I just went around it when it was right, just out of the oven, and I tried to loosen it up. And so then, hopefully, looks like I'm going to be able to do it. I'm hoping to slip it. Aha! Sometimes you can do it, and sometimes bad things happen. So this is a tasty frittata. And I have some uh, Tabasco sauce to go on this. And then, you know, I have some tea left over, so I will drink that. Let me give you a recipe. This is a good one when you're trying to cut carbs. Uh, one thing that will really get to me is too much salad, too much fruit, and, you know, you get to the point, if you're eating too much meat, it can really get to you. Any diet can really get to you. Okay, so what I did is I beat two eggs. Um, oh, this is not a, a half. This is a third. Uh, I use a half when I make... Uh, it's one third cup milk and one um, teaspoon uh, chai. So I use uh, non-fat dry milk and I use some dry chives, but you could use any kind of onions. Fresh would be good. Okay, and then I put it in my little cast iron skillet and I coated the uh, skillet good with margarine, the sides too. And I cooked till the sides lifted. You know, they were about done. But you have to be careful because they're kind of easy to uh, burn. Then I had one can of asparagus that I drained. I should have written this. And I laid the asparagus on top. And I cooked it until it was done, until it was done except the center. And I um, laid Swiss cheese and I baked 350 until uh, a knife inserted. Let's see if I burn the bottom. Sometimes I do. I eat them anyway. Let's see if I... This one's good. This one's good. It's not burned. Um, okay, so... And then if you want to brown your cheese, you can broil for a few minutes. But that's dangerous because that is a good way to uh, burn the bottom. And I bought this good um, cheese at um, 99 cent only. So what I like to do with these is I cut them in four pieces. meal too and it's a nice break from so much meat and here's the asparagus I got 50% off because it was a dented can I want to encourage you guys to try that it really saves money I put salt and pepper on top of the asparagus you know you can season it to whatever you like And so this is a pretty, you're not going to get hungry. I mean, unless you're really, really starving, then you might get hungry. So let's see what happened here. This is good. Strawberry sugar-free jello. And then... This is chocolate milk, and I'm freezing it so it's like ice cream. And I found this at 99 cent only, and uh, two tablespoons had enough chocolate. I could put strawberries or frozen bananas on it, but you know, I already had quite a bit of fruit today. Uh, this is good if you're an ice cream eater. You know, if you eat ice cream at night, generally. And 
the chocolate milk mix, if you go easy, oh my, everything's falling out of my freezer. If you go easy on the chocolate milk mix, it is not uh, too high in calories. And neither is the Jello. So you're getting uh, 50 extra calories. I try to drink uh, three glasses of milk per day. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.